Hello, the internet. My name's Laura, and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in Maryland because of family reasons, and of course, while I'm here, I had to go to Valley View Farms, which is one of my favorite places up here. So, um, we're going to see how much space I have on my phone, and I'm going to do as good a job of, you know, taping things as I can. And if the video ends abruptly, it is because I ran out of space. So, anyway, we're going inside. Mm. No cash, honey. Sorry. Is a begonia. That almost looks like my um, begonia etna. I wonder if my begonia etna will look like this when it gets bigger. It's got the same, like, the black on the leaves, but it's just a larger plant. one but it really had a rough time because it had mealybugs and then my cat knocked it over so it's possible that I would do fine with it I just you know it kind of got off to a bad start Ivy, 
that bad of a price for that big of a plant. Double what I paid for. Oh, there's mealies in there. Oh, that's a shame. That's okay, I don't need another one. Yeah, they have some nice calabian here. I've never seen these flowers. Ooh. And I just looked up. Look at this lipstick plant.
I like how they've got the little thongs in here with all the, all the cacti. whether or not I'm going to kill it. <laughs> Get the smaller one so you pay less to kill a plant. Oh, interesting. They've got some rubber trees that they've like actually trained them to be a tree. And some bigger plants back here. Very large ZZ. Finale, but that one's also 60, and that's huge. Hi, what are you? Oh, that's a philodendron gigantism again. This one's obviously larger than the other one. But either way. Alright, I think that is most of everything and now I'm going to have to go back around and decide what I'm actually getting after I breathe for a little while because I think all this talking in the heat with the mask has made me a little lightheaded. So, I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you guys later on. Hey guys. Um, a little bit of a weird background. This is my mother-in-law's house. Um, and well, either way, I wanted to do a plant haul, and so I'm making it work. All right, so before we went to Valley View, we actually stopped by Home Depot, and I just wanted to see what they had there. And I ended up getting this little guy. Um, he was sitting in a, a collection of the cacti that have the little plastic flowers on top and he either escaped that fate because there were other ones that looked exactly like this that did did have flowers on or like it's it possible he had a 
a flower on and then like there's these little spots here where there could have been some glue and a flower and it kind of came off but it didn't it didn't do too much damage and I was just I thought he was super cute so I ended up picking him up um oh no yeah it does it actually the little thing says cactus with decorative flower um so I managed to pull him out he did not get damaged by the flower, and I'm going to take him home and actually attempt to grow my second cactus. So, hey, there he is. Very, very cute. Um, so that was from Home Depot. The rest of these I all got from Valley View. I'll go from, like, smallest to biggest. Do you want to go smallest to biggest, biggest to smallest? Let's go smallest to biggest. Okay, so, you guys saw this in the video. It is a little Peperomia Pastrata string of turtles, and they had a whole bunch of them. They're all they were all about this this size, and this was the only size that they had. So super super tiny, but I've been looking for a string of turtles, and so I went ahead and got it, and hopefully it will grow. Oh, it got a little damaged. Darn. Well. Hopefully it will grow fairly quickly and you know any string of turtles is better than no string of turtles so but super tiny super cute um, and then the other super tiny super cute plant that I got was this calico kitten um, the creeping jade and I saw um, Plants, pots, and whatnot had one of these one time, and I really thought they were cute ever since then, but I had never seen one. And now I saw one, and so I went ahead and picked this this one up. It's got a bunch of growth points on it, and um, hopefully, I, I'm assuming that it needs a certain amount of sun in order to um, keep this coloring. So, I think I, I think I'll be able to manage that, but I really, really like the coloring on that. It's super cute, and again, hopefully, this, this and the, these two are actually, um, terrarium plants. I think they both, yeah, they both say terrarium plants. Um, so, they're just, they're small because they're supposed to be like that, and hopefully they will grow, um, a little bit bigger. Um, okay, and then I got this guy, and I haven't looked into this much. This says that this is a Haworthia. Um, and it almost reminds me of an aloe in shape more than a Haworthia. Um, but I was really just intrigued by the color of it. Um, I'm assuming that it's sun-stressed, like the, the red is like a sun-stress, so... But we'll see. It looks good. It's healthy. There's a little baby coming in over here, and it actually has roots coming out of the bottom, so it is well rooted. Um, I tend to have really trouble with Haworthia when they're not rooted, but um, when they are rooted, I seem to do fine with them. So that is my newest Haworthia, and I don't know. I, I eventually will look it up and see if it is actually a Haworthia or if it's just mislabeled or something weird but it's really cool looking either way so all right and then next I finally broke down and got myself a watermelon peperomia um just I've just been really impressed with what they look like like more and more I, I'm not super keen on peperomia in general um, I know I have my ruby glow, but I just really like the green with the silver, like the shiny silver. It almost, it kind of actually reminds me of a begonia, at least this peperomia does, and, um, and I really, really, I love it when the leaves get, like, super big, like, when they get really, so this is kind of a younger one, but it's got, I think, three plants in here. Oh, actually, it's actually more than that. Like four or five plants in here. So, 
I figure I could probably keep a peperomi alive um, until it gets really nice and big and it's got a lot of new growth on it so it's a really really healthy plant and so I went ahead and got it because it was a decent price it's 10 10 bucks for you know all of that so at least I think it's a decent price so got that guy and I decided that I was going to give another shot to this it's another alocasia poly the first one that I got some of you may remember um, it had mealybugs when I got it. I was just so excited to see it that I went ahead and got it even though it had mealybugs on it. And I, I treated them and kind of got the mealybugs under, under control. And then my cat knocked it over and snapped off a bunch of leaves. And it just kind of never really recovered. And I don't know whether that's because I didn't take care of it well enough or... It just went through way too much stress with the bugs and losing the leaves and all this kind of stuff. So I've decided I'm going to try again because this is a good, healthy looking plant. There's two plants in here. There might even be a baby in here. I'm not positive, but I'm good with just two, two healthy plants. And we're going to give this a shot because I'm keeping all of my other alocasias alive fairly easily. And then, so if... I can't keep this alive, then it's just something about this particular alocasia poly that I can't really handle, which is a shame because I really, really, I just love this plant. I think it's just so cool looking. So I'd really love to be able to take good care of it and get some nice big leaves on it. But we're going to see. This is my second attempt. So it's also in a super tiny pot. And then I ended up getting this philodendron what is it michaelis michaelis finale which is kind of like um prince of orange only the new leaves that come in are more red than they are orange um and this leaf i just thought was so awesome looking it's like halfway faded from its red down to its green um it's a fairly large plant. It was definitely kind of expensive, but I I really like this type of philodendron, and so I've, I've been looking at getting one of these, and when I saw this one, I decided I was just going to pull the plug on it and finally get one. Um, healthy looking plant, really nice. It's got a new leaf just unfurling now. Um, and I think there's, yeah, I think like this one's unfurling, and then this one is actually a new leaf. Like, that one's a new leaf. This is the old offshoot. That's the old offshoot. But that's actually a new leaf coming in. So, this leaf might get a little, eh, because of the transitioning or whatever. But, yeah, I just really wanted one of these. And now I have it. And I'm just, like, this, this leaf, the color is just really nice on it. It's kind of bad lighting in here. But I just, I'm really even in love with just you know, the, the halfway. That's why I like these, these philodendrons so much, the ones that are, that come in like the crazy color and then, and then fade. So those are the seven plants that I ended up getting today. I'm really happy with all of them. Now I'm, I'm not going home quite yet. So, by the time you guys see this, I will be home, but um, I'm not going home quite yet, so I'm actually going to have to take care of them while I'm staying here, but that's okay. I think they'll be fine. Um, and who knows? We'll see. Um, so, if you guys want to tell me which one of the plants that I got that you like the most... If you saw a different plant in the video that you think I should have got, or you know, the, the, the tour that I should have gotten that I didn't get, go ahead and let me know what that was. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys saw that I wasn't quite as interested in. And if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you would like to stick around and see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for going around with me today and spending some time with me. So. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.